Yeah, I'm just, I'm talking to Marie. Um, so dinner's like, <laughs> like dinner's like almost there, and I can smell it. And I was just doing this. I was just talking. Um, I use Zoom, and which is the least sophisticated thing and now 2024 to be using uh, for a video, but it crashed in the middle. And so I have to talk again. And I don't want, I don't want to do that. Like I just said this and I don't want to say it again. Um, and, but I can just, it's like, it's not dark or late or anything, but Marie and I eat dinner. When other people eat Thanksgiving dinner, that's Marie and me year round. And it's like, yeah, that's up on our hour and it smells so good. Uh, and so I'm going to wrap this up now. I just want to say before I begin that, um, in number 66, I, I talked about Tolkien. I, I sort of like poked a little fun in his direction uh, in a loving way. Super love Tolkien. Um, and any jest that was in that one was affectionate. And we do the same thing a little bit with Brandon Sanderson here. Um, and it's supposed to be a tender um, delivery of, of that jest. So I hope it's interpreted that way. But I'm just going to read. Um this. Journal 68, Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. My problem with fantasy magic systems. Hi, everyone. In journal 18, which I wrote two years ago today, I discussed soft magic systems and I defended their flaccidity against those who deem turgid magic systems to be a feature of more serious writing and against people who allege any deviation from the facts of the natural sciences constitutes unserious writing. People who know my profession sometimes ask, does your fantasy book have a magic system in it? And I can hear two judgmental tones trilling in harmony. First, I am being judged as an unserious physiology professor because of the magical stuff. Second, I'm being judged as an unserious fantasy novelist because of my profession, which tends to scoff at the pretend. In both cases, there's an assumption that a story is not considered fantasy without at least a little bit of wizardry, either in soft detail, e.g. J.K. Rowling, or hard, e.g. B.W. Sanderson. To answer the question, though, my book kind of has a magic system. Just one or multiple? It kind of has multiple systems. Are they hard or soft? They're kind of hard systems. What's with all the kind ofs? My answer to that question is more complicated. Kind of. Let me start with some definitions. Soft magic. A common feature of fantasy literature in which characters possess supernatural abilities that do not have explicitly stated limitations or rules. Hard magic. A common feature of fantasy literature in which writers are pathologically pedantic in their explanation of a fake thing. A good example of a hard system is allomancy. Here, people eat a bunch of metal, aluminum, brass, cadmium, etc. And instead of suffering the symptoms of toxicity, they're given superhero powers. What makes this system hard is that everyone I just offended can explain exactly how I got it all wrong. They could compose a thesis that rebuts my summary so thoroughly it would satisfy the requirement to complete their Master of Arts in English Literature. That is a hard system, but it's not the kind of hard system that appears in my book. Being battered with the tiniest details about the mechanics of spellcasting or necromancy doesn't enhance my enjoyment of the story. I don't need to know how Gandalf enacts his Gandalfing to appreciate his role. Just like I don't have to read the Silmarillion to understand the perils of Frodo's quest. And a comprehensive family tree isn't necessary for me to cheer on the hero. Oppressing readers with excessive trivia rarely enriches the reading experience. However, in fantasy audiences, I often encounter a bizarre contradiction. With one breath, readers complain about world-building info dumps. With the next, they celebrate the most baroque, pointless intricacies of a different fake thing. Concerning matters of geography, politics, and the economy, hell hath no fury like the reader's scorn for detail. Only magic can dump with impunity. All other elements of world building are held to a different standard. 
In my book, I extend no such double standard to magic, by which I mean seeming deviations to the natural sciences. The text contains clues which a reader with a strong physiology background could figure out. What about the existence of multiple systems? Oh, right, I almost forgot about my last kind of. Human beings have a digestive system, a respiratory system, an endocrine system, and so on. Each of these comprises countless processes. If we treated every enzyme as a system unto itself, graduate theses would become allomantically pedantic. Maybe that would be a good thing. But asking whether the creatures in my world have multiple distinct magic systems is tantamount to asking if those in our world have multiple distinct metabolisms. The answer is a resounding kind of. Okay, that's it for number 68. It's dinner time. I'm off to do that. Um, I hope maybe it's your dinner time and you it like smells good where you are and it's about to taste good where you are. And I, I it's like just after New Year's. And so I hope if you have a resolution, it's marching along uh, productively and you're on pace for completion. And I hope I was very vague with all my kind ofs and stuff. I hope you are more clear and you know direct in your correspondence and your thinking if that's good in that situation whatever the hope you know there's three to pick from whichever one suits you pick that one and that's what i hope for you uh and bye everyone